triple digit temperatures in the big city as the Mets and Reds play game two of three at City Field. Johan Santana just five and five on the season. And a night after the Reds scored eight runs, they're at it again. The leadoff man, Brandon Phillips, in the top of the first. That is a leadoff double. Two batters later, the guy who got the Mets for two homers the night before, Joey Votto. Down he goes. A sign of things to come for Santana. Now the star for the Reds went to Matt Maloney, just called up after Aaron Harang was placed on the DL. Bottom of the third, a very significant at bat with Santana at the dish. Ruben Tejada caught stealing by a mile at second base. Now the significance, because in that at bat, Santana did this. But Santana cracks one deep right field back toward the corner. It was a 12 pitch at bat. That's what you call helping yourself. Santana, his first major league home run gives the Mets a one to nothing lead. Bottom of the sixth, Jason Bay trying to tack on. He does just that. Jose Reyes and David Wright score on the RBI single from Bay. The Mets now lead it three to nothing. Top of the ninth, Santana trying to complete it. Jay Bruce, a fly ball to left field. Bay gets there but doesn't make the catch. So now there's two on and one out. Jerry Manuel pays a visit to Johan. Everyone in the ballpark was thinking Santana would be lifted, but Jerry leaves him in. The next batter, Johnny Gomes, diving catch by Ike Davis. There's now two outs. One last chance for the Reds. That comes in the form of Drew Stubbs. Ground ball, grabbed by Wright, and the ball game is over. Santana perseveres and hangs on for a three-hit shutout. Three to nothing is the final. Santana completes it. Nine innings, three hits, no earned runs, struck out five. It's his first shutout in nearly two years. He's the first Mets pitcher to homer since John Maine did back in 2007. Offensively, Jose Reyes had two hits.